Welcome back guys. So lesson number two, chapter four, we are going to learn uh, the song Creep by Radiohead. And this time we are going to learn or put some ghost notes uh, on our bass lines. And also we are going to put a fill, like a bass, uh, bass run. Um, so let's crack on. The chord's progression is 1 on G, so we are on the key of G, so the key signature is G. This is our 1, and then we got the 3rd, which is B, so 1, 2, 3, so G, A, B, so 3rd, then goes to the 4th, which is C, so G, A, B, C, and then the fourth chord is a minor so we'll just stay on C because we don't really have minor or major when we're just playing bass on a single note all right and then we will do the bass run which is a minor scale so one two and on our previous lesson we've learned about the minor triad which got flattened third so the flat third here if this is c d instead of e when it's a minor scale or uh, like in our minor triad the third is flattened so it's e flat and then we've got um f so instead of C, D, E, F, C, D, E flat, because it's a flat third, and then F, and goes back to G. Alright, so that is our bass run. Just refer to the diagram or tab in the ebook. So, the ghost note. So the bass pattern here is boom, da da dun. So it's like one and then the dun, dun. It's one and then the eighth note. But there's like a sixteenth ghost note. Instead of really playing that one, you can release your finger so that it will sound dead and then press it again. It's like releasing and then putting it back but um, if you do it like lightly it the, the string will be dead there's no sound or you can intentionally do that one right so we're gonna learn the pattern which is bum dum dum um this extra note um is like a sixteenth and then two eight notes so bum to dum dum then your third so you just release and press again C so release and press again and then the run all right so that's your bass line uh, for the whole song so let's try with the backing track you can just search on youtube uh, creep bass backing track two three go Just like 
So, the whole uh, pattern repeats uh, for the entire song. So, G to that turn twice, G to that turn goes to B twice again. So, B again goes to C and C minor and then the run. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.